Hello everyone, this is Josh, aka The Biscuit Eater, and I want to thank you all for joining me on the second episode of my long-form let's play of Orwell, Episode 1. In case you're new to this series, this is a story of a faceless employee sitting behind one of the screens of the most invasive social internet investigative companies in the nation. Our job here is to observe, report, and hopefully save lives while infringing on the basic rights of the people. If this is your first time with the series, thank you for joining. You can find a link to the playlist in the description down below. Otherwise, sit back, consider for a moment the last few things you posted online, and enjoy the ride. In our previous episode, we followed the trail of a young woman, Cassandra, with a troubled past, recent potential indoctrination into an anti-nation activist group, and a former COO of a family-owned pharmaceuticals company. After being observed leaving the scene of a deadly terrorist attack in the same plaza she'd assaulted a police officer in, she's become our primary suspect and subject to our observance and surveillance. Today, we start our second day on the job, continuing to try to piece together conflicting narratives and determine if this young woman truly could be capable of such brazen murder. But first, without any further ado, let's cue the intro. All right, let's get ourselves started. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. So again, we have our summary from day one. Next day. Episode two, a place where there is no darkness. Welcome back. I hope you don't mind if we get started right away. We have tons of work ahead of us. I met with my superiors, and they wish to continue in the test case. They believe in the capability of Orwell to handle this. Oh, and you, of course. My superiors agree with me. Based on the information you have already extracted, the activist group known as Thought is worth investigating. It seems that this Goldfells is an important member of Thought, so we now have clearance to consider them as a target person. Now that Goldfells is a target person, there may be new data chunks available in documents that you have already accessed. Don't forget to go back and recheck your sources. Ah, that would be why I couldn't make changes to these particular people. So we'll bring up Goldfells. So we have a few things we can look at here. Let's look at overview first. Has anything been made available to us since our last attempt? We don't know if it's really his picture, but we'll go ahead and upload it. folk song since it's associated with the tax. The letter. We are right, it seems. Not reading this because we read it yesterday. German immigrant to the nation in 1993. An immigrant. Hmm. The Thought, an activist group with the same name as this blog. Is Gold, if Goldfells is the one who created the blog, perhaps he found it or it was even was the leader of the activist group. We have headlines. Connection between Bonten bombings evident. Bonten attacks against Stelgen University in Bonten and Freedom Plaza are connected. Experts conclude. 
picture of Stelgan students and teachers alike are in shock and in deep mourning. Bonton. The bombing that occurred yesterday at Stelgan University seems to be connected to the attack against the Freedom Plaza earlier this week. This is the conclusion of the police division who is investigating the cases. In both assaults, a similar explosive device created with pure malevolence appears to have been used, police spokeswoman Steele said. The letters received prior to the assault seem to support the suspicion, while their meaning is still puzzling investigators. According to rumors, people have been theorizing the number of stanzas might represent the number of bombings, which in turn raises the question whether there might be another bombing yet to occur. We understand that some people jump to this conclusion, but there is no good reason to believe this, Steele answered, when confronted with a theory during a press conference. Meanwhile, Stelgan University has declared the normal operation cannot continue under the circumstances, so they will be closing their doors for the time being. The university has also put up a special front page to pay their respects to assault victims. See above image. Doesn't seem to link to the actual page, though. Okay, let's go back. Timelines and Rosen announce cooperation. Hilbury Botton. The Davenport siblings, owners of the biggest social network Timelines, announced major cooperation with software giant Rosen Technologies. Picture shows Timeline founders Ada and Alan Davenport met Victor Rosen on Nation Today last year. Hilbury Botton. It, it's a big deal. The internet billionaire siblings Ada and Alan Davenport, creators and owners of the most important online social network Timelines, located in Hil Hilbury, are starting a major cooperation with the Botton software giant Rosen Technologies. This has been announced in a press statement given out on Friday by the PR departments of both companies simultaneously. By utilizing the existing infrastructure and software development capabilities of Rosen Tech, time Timelines will be able to respond to the needs and requirements of the quickly changing digital world in real time. Timelines executive Ada Davenport is quoted, our growing user base will profit from this by significantly reducing downtimes, tightened security, and a sped up integration of new features, she continued. Heavy rainstorms expected for the weekend. Bonton and Fairview, as well as large parts of the western nation, will be covered in heavy rain clouds culminating on Sunday. If you had any plans for the weekend involving the outdoors in Bonn or Fairview, you'd best forget about them. There's a massive low-pressure system incoming. Bringing with it storm clouds and rain to the nation's west Sunday morning will be hit the hardest until the late afternoon, so make sure you pick up an umbrella if you need to go outside, lest you become a sopping mess. There is a literal silver lining on the horizon, however. Over the coming week, the cloud will move on and temperatures will stabilize at comfy levels. After a long and harsh winter, spring will finally win the upper hand. from the capture of Cassandra last night. Arrest date, April 13th, 2017. Yesterday. Charged. Assault on the police officer. Recon. Reconsidered. Arresting officer redacted. Holding facility redacted. The suspect was arrested in her flat. She willingly opened the door and cooperated with the arresting officer after having the warrant announced and her rights read to her. Entry number eight, thought must change direction. I thoroughly believed we were able to capture minds if only we could garner attention on thought as a group and what we stand for. It seems my ambition was once again too much. After one and a half years, recruiting two of my students and arranging three demonstrations like the one held at Freedom Plaza, I feel obliged to ask myself where we stand. Have we reached our goal? What has been sacrificed along the way? In short, are we true to the initial goal that formed the group? This is useful information. Hmm, three demonstrations. More interesting might be that two students seem to, more interesting might be that two students seem to be involved. Frankly and sadly, the answer to the latter is a resounding no. We let ourselves be consumed by anger and hatred towards those we thought to do us wrong. 
thoughts are free, but that does not mean does not that does in no way mean that they can attack and do whatever they wish. Instead of blaming others, I now see my high aims might well be the cause for all the events of the past months. More than anyone else have thought, I feel responsible. I like this one better. Of the two. A troubled past. We will have to get to the bottom of this. As a consequence, I will halt my active engagement in this group. I firmly believe this shall be for the better of everyone involved, especially my students from Stelligan. Whatever active engagement means, still an interesting fact. What now? Stelligan? The same Stelligan where a bomb just exploded? You know what I think about coincidences. I won't repeat it. So far, the evidence suggests that Goldfields was a prominent lecturer at Stelligan, and some of his students became involved in thought. Did he, like, recruit them for his cause? We need to identify these students, see who else is involved with the group. We have more to read, but let's go ahead and go to listen. So it's Cassandra talking to Joseph Langley. Hey you. I'm sorry about last night. I really should have come over. It's just a, just that this client is massively influential and could bring a whole lot of exposure to the office. I've been trying to get a meeting for months and it went rather well, so here's hoping. God, I'm such a stupid old man who just talks about his job too much. I'm sorry. It's just such a big part of my life. Hello? Are you still upset? Cassie? Can you at least answer me? If you don't, I'll start to worry. You know what I'm like. She can't answer you, dude. She's in jail. Knowledge, science, wisdom, at some times all remain silent. Continue to main page. Bomb assault on Stilligan. Campus closed down until further notice. 4-14-2017. Yesterday evening, an explosive device went off on Stilligan campus, killing a Stilligan student as well as a lecturer. Several other individuals have been severely injured. The authorities are investigating. This is an unspeakable tragedy, Stelgan President Hopkins said during the press conference that took place this morning. In light of recent events, it is impossible to maintain daily routine. This is why I have decided to suspend all educational services of Stelgan University until further notice. Therefore, Stelgan campus will remain closed at least for the rest of this week, with no educational courses or events taking place. Stelgan Canteen elected Best Public Drinking Hall in Nation's Best Competition. The jury of the nation's best contest, annually rewarded the most excellent public services, has declared Stelgan's Canteen the winner in its best public dining hall category. In the recent time, we have tried to be fearless about our services and tried something new, sometimes something that may just may not have worked. We are very happy to receive this honor as a direct consequence of these efforts, the student service manager Gusto declared consecutively in a press statement. Let's look at courses. Stelgan University offers prospective students courses from a broad variety of fields in which bachelor or master's degrees may be obtained. Please refer to faculty pages for more detailed description of each course. Department Technology, Biotechnology, Medicine Technology, Environmental Technology, Media Technics, Media Ethics. Note, this course is currently unavailable due to Representative Professor A. Goldfels having retired. Media Design, Media Management. We'll come back to that in a moment. If there's anything else. General Law, Business Law, Criminal Law, Physics, Applied Physics, note this course is discontinued and will only accept applications until October 2017, Chemistry, Biology, and Computer Science. Professor Goldfels. Being a luminary in his profession, Abraham Goldfels gladly accepted the offered professorship in the field of media ethics at Stelligan, from which he sadly retired in fall 2016. So we now know his full name. Abraham it is. Well done.
Did you notice the bombing locations seem to be closely connected to Thought? There could be a pattern emerging. Thought has held three demonstrations, yet there have been only two bombings, which might imply... Well, it's definitely a shot in the dark, but we absolutely need to do everything we can to prevent another attack. Take a close look at the past of each member with Thought. Find out the locations of all demos they have held. This might yield a hint. Previously, Professor Goldfels has held a position as a journalist at Der Reporter, one of the most renowned German daily newspapers, and was also a chairman of the Global Media Ethics Congress. Chairman of an ethical congress. Just the average one of the mill terrorist trait. Wow, that's a whole lot of information about this Goldfells, yet only one other page could be indexed. Very strange indeed. I think the next course of action should be to look for other people of this thought group, like the students he mentioned. In his works, Professor Goldfels never relents to emphasize the importance of privacy over public interest. Publications of significance, privacy versus public interest, where the right to know ends, id, ego, and selfie, an analysis of dangers in overexpressive self-representation in social media, and die Gedanken sind frei, the thoughts are free, a modern-time declaration of independence towards mass surveillance. Well, what do you say to that? He literally wrote the book. Check notable alumni. Orlando B B Buford, a Silicon alumnus of the Biotechnology course, is the founder and CEO of one of the highest grossing online grocery trading companies, MCATO. Catherine Delacroix, ever since her early study years as a student of criminal law, Catherine Delacroix has been a member of the party. In 2009, when the party had been elected as government, Delacroix was named head of the newly created Ministry of Security. Joseph Langley, Joseph Langley opened his new law office in the city of Bonn some years after his graduation from Stelligan in 1992. His law office is probably best known for having defended construction entrepreneur Elwood Hendricks and what gained public attention as the lion's share scandal. Joanna McElroy. Having studied medical technology at Stelligan, Joanna McElroy now is the host of the eponymous daily TV show Four at McElroy's, in which she covers psychological family issues. Alright, do we have anything new here? No. Okay, headlines. Breaking news. First suspect in connection with assaults arrested. A couple of minutes ago, the Bonton Police Department reported that an arrest in connection with the recent bombings of the Capitol has been made. A couple of minutes ago, the Bonton Police Department reported that an arrest in connection with the recent bombings in the Capitol has been made. A young woman has been brought into custody thanks to investigation efforts of a special task force, police spokesman Kaufman said. How the woman is related to the bomb attacks, Kaufman did not cover. However, it is rumored that the suspect is well known to authorities by other incidents. Alright, attendee list. Fall 2016 was the last time he... Okay, so we go. He was in media. Maybe we could go to each of these if we wanted to, but I'm not going to read through all that because we honestly just need to go to or did I miss it? Abraham Goldfels, there we go. Jimmy Atkins, student number, failed. No credit points counted due to a failed exam. Eddie Cody Bruner, grade D. Michael Bush, grade C. Juan Chan, grade B. Eric Chapman, grade D. Gail Charles, grade C. Melinda Foster, grade A. Lawrence Garner, failed. Not admitted to, exam, to take exam due to too many missed sessions. Willie Hampton, grade C. Eugene Walter Holbrook, grade C, has requested to write a thesis on the topic of, of this course. 
Barbara Hurley, student number, but not applicable. Guest, gotcha. Juliet Carrington, we've already, Juliet is, is already a person of interest. Student number, grade A, master thesis in Rosen's ten, Rosen text, 10 commandments. Pillars of success or just PR trickery registered at this course. Possible person of interest. We have seen this name before, haven't we? Right, she was a friend of Miss Watergate. Now it also appears that she was a student of Abraham Goldfell's. I think that's enough to warn a report. Give me a few minutes. All right, we have authorization to investigate Miss Carrington. Harrison O'Donnell. Harrison O'Donnell, yes, we've seen that name connected to Miss Watergate. I'll report this right away. We've been authorized to consider Harrison O'Donnell a target person. Now there's some more work for you. Congrats. Harrison and Juliet, these must be Abraham Goldfell students within thought. Well done. Nobody else seems to come out. Interesting that that's the only summer, or that's the only semester. Wait, let's go to the summer semester. Interesting, that's the only semester that he has that he had classes. All right, so we'll go to Juliet first. Juliet's timeline. PR assistant at Rosentech. Birthday. Far view. Like Stellion University, the targets Fairview Public Library and Cafe Chestnut. Cassandra Watergate posted on March 4th, 2017. Ha, you actually can dance, and I got proof now. You still in bed? The hug, is that really me? I gotta be careful around you, apparently. Great photo, though. Who took it? Nice try, Jules. A magician never reveals her tricks. Anyways, thanks for a great time, Cassie. I must admit it felt good to kind of go out for once. Not that I plan on doing that again anytime soon. What? Every time I ask you out, you're so GD busy and then you fall for freaking muffins? If I ever had known that before. Sorry, Adam. Maybe you need to spy on me some more. Cassandra. I am bored to death tonight and definitely need someone to come along. Here, Julesy, Julesy, Julesy. I got something for you. Muffins. Oh no, my one weakness. Exposed for everyone to see. Okay, tell me. What must I do to get one of those? I'm prepared for the worst. Just go out with me and explore Botan's famous nightlife, will you? Blinking. Blinks. Big eyes. You got a message, Cassie. Need this recipe for my mom. Yeah, you know I'm not. I'm not. You know I, I'm not so keen on going out late night. Plus, I don't dance, ever. Care to spare me, please? So dislikes going out. But it's okay. I fully understand you. I think I will then spend the evening in bed, watch movies, and eat a hell of a lot of muffins out of frustration. All right, all right, you win. I'll be there in half an hour. That torture and cruelty by my friend. I don't want to say engage in torture. Now where is Amnesty International when you actually need them? Again, gotta keep a uh, handle on any sort of issue with hyperbole. And... correctly. Yeah. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Alright, happy birthday, honey. So good to have you back. To mark the occasion, we decided to update your profile on our family page. Hope you like it. Carrington Family, TNA. 
Yeah, happy birthday for me as well. Have a good one. We'll check that out in a moment. Juliet Carrington posted on December 19th. Nobody took notice. Nobody cares. Nobody. What did Harry do this time? Jeez, as much as I like him, we really need to ditch him. Maybe people would care if you would be, I don't know, less enigmatic. Only one week left until I have to enter my thesis at Abraham's course, and then it's goodbye to Delegan. I'm a bit scared of the huge gaping hole this is going to leave behind. Ah, girl, you're going to manage. I know it's a scary thought at first, but we, we'll stay in touch no matter what. Hear me? Thank you, Amanda. I feel so much better already. We definitely, we definitely keep in touch. This drives me outright mad. Even though Cassandra and I just got to know each other at the protest at Freedom Plaza, she stood up for me regardless. This woman is a heroine, not a terrorist. Go Cassie. If one pisses off the government, one must expect them to respond accordingly. Action causes reaction. That simple-mindedness rolls eyes. Also, this doesn't sound like the Juliet I know. You wouldn't even accept the duty of being the class representative when you were appointed. How come you care so much about politics now? I'm not surprised you stand up for your beliefs. Underneath, you're a strong, a strong one. But activism? Attending demonstrations? Is that still you? First Miss Watergate and now her. Is this some, there's some sort of brainwashing going on? Sometimes people change their minds. Sometimes other people help them get the right mindset. Find out what you truly care about. This is about our freedom, and I know what it feels like to not be free. What would you want me to do instead? Sit at home being indifferent? Indifferent? No. I just see no use in occupying public plazas and throwing stones at poor men and women. This is a democracy. We have petitions for that. I am so proud of you that you're capable of using the essential tool of any good slacktivist. Hell, I would like to post a really slow clapping sound, but timelines doesn't allow it. So just freaking imagine if you can. Harry, well, I appreciate that you've got my back and everything. I don't think you need to intervene here. This is Rick and Juliet only thing. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and see your family page. Jonathan and Esther Carrington. A man walks into a bar and meets the girl of his dreams. They marry, settle down, and have four daughters. What may sound like the beginning of a cheap joke or some kind of pulp fiction is in fact a fairy tale come true. When John met Esther, they immediately knew it was love. So it was no wonder that only a year later they got married in a small chapel near Lake Springwell. At the same time, they began to build a house in Mount Lake Court, a cozy little spot in Fairview, which would serve as the very foundation for their family, which they still inhabit to this day, happily ever after, so to speak. In 1985, their first daughter, April, was born. Little did they know that there were three more to follow. Some basic details about April. Fair color indigo, headmistress of Fairview Elementary, writing, playing the piano, favorite food, mashed potatoes, favorite book or movie, Labyrinth. April is the firstborn and daughter in, firstborn daughter in the Carrington family. As you might have guessed already, her name is not a coincidence. When the little girl decided to be born on the 1st of April instead of the March date the doctors had calculated, John and Esther immediately decided to name her daughter in tribute. Now fully grown and independent, April is married to Roy McIntyre. May Carrington. Sci favorite Heather Cyan, C occupation CEO and founder of McLaugh LTD. Favorite pastime going out with friends. Favorite food sushi. Favorite book or movie The Devil, Devil Wears Prada. It had always been, a crist been crystal clear that May would found her own company one day, and in 2012, that's exactly what happened. With a little help from some friends and her caring pa pa parents, she managed to create the today well known clothing startup McLaugh with more than a dozen employees. June Carrington. Favorite color, ultramarine. Occupation, chief engineer at Botton Machine Works. Favorite pastime, inventing something new. Favorite food, spaghetti pizza. Spaghetti and pizza. Favorite book or movie, Back to the Future 2. Little June was so fond of everything that had the slightest bit of technology on it, it began to worry John and Esther, but there was really nothing to be concerned about. June has proven to be a one-of-a-kind engineer, and now the Botton Machine Works company is profiting greatly from that fact. Juliet Carrington, new picture. born February 14th 1992 we already have part of that information favorite color red don't know if that's important but we'll hold it okay I like a joke as much as the next person but her favorite color do you really think that is pertinent information right now there's an active bomb threat now could you please focus on that favorite book or movie to kill a mockingbird You never really understood a per you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view. Until you climb inside of his skin and walk around in it. Harper Lee, to kill a mockingbird. 
I actually read that one. Great book. So we'll ignore playing the guitar and banana mu nut muffins. Since the nestling of the family showed up a little bit unexpected, nesting, nestling since the, since the nestling of the family showed up a little bit unexpectedly, the parents Jonathan and Esther decided that they would end the strictness of the naming pattern her sisters had had followed in favor of the slight aberration. Juliet learned to play the guitar, even developed the plan to become a professional musician in a band. However, she decided to end her band career once she was single again and focus on her studies of media media economy at Stellagen University instead. What does that even mean? Everything all right with you? Good effing riddance. Post has been deleted by the user. I feel so sorry for the girl. It's clear she has been attacked and just panicked. Now they'll have her butt for this. Whistles. We didn't start the fire. This post has been deleted by the user. So we're going to head and... Do we have something to hide there, Mr. Co then, Mr. O O'Donnell? The fascists turned this into a nightmare. People didn't do S. The protest was peaceful until they showed up. They stormed the crowd and provoked what happened. Huh? Have you been suffering from bad cases of self-censorship lately? Or what's happening to on your timeline? So it's nearly a year ago that they were a couple, and they said she was recently single. Thank you for taking me along on... Okay, this couple rocked the show, as it will rock the rest of the GD Nation. Thank you for taking me along. Honestly, I didn't think that it would be I would be welcomed so warmly, nor that my humble skills would be worth me coming along. If you've got it, flaunt it, and you definitely got it, baby. Pulling the strings of a fancy guitar in the spotlights on stage suits you well and makes you look even more awesome. Thank you, Mikey guess I should have pursued that musical career before even beginning my studies. Study is giving me headaches at the moment. Thank God it's all, it'll all be over soon. Mike, why don't you go and ask Juliet out right away? Wait, huh? No need for hiding anything. I can provide a no nose correction just for you to make you look just as awesome. You want that? No? Then F off. Harry, calm down a bit, will you? I don't think Mike meant to be flirty. Mike, sorry, Harry went a bit over the top there. Never thought I was going to write this one day. First day at Stelgen. Feeling so elite, it makes me want to comb my hair. Any survival tips? Mo my most valuable social network associates? You at Stelgen? Lose a bet? Nice joke, Harry. You're a bit early for April Fools, you know. Why can't I go and attend university like a decent human being without raising eyebrows everywhere, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it, it's as a guest in a lecture of a, of a friend. You got me, but still, shit just got real. Okay, so... I think based on that, the conflicting data chunk suggests that she recently broke that they recently broke up. Oh, wrong person. That's where she met them. They're, they're part of the. T they were the targets. And that's where she met. She met them. Got it. Okay. So, starting to uh, pull together. Band. We are the track you're ashamed of in your fine-tuned playlist. The unexplainable gap in your seemingly fa flawless CV. Your drunken selfie in your timeline's profile. The porn movie found on your work computer. You cannot avoid us because we are you. We are the targets. 
Hancock Harrison vocals guitar, Danton Damian drums, Castro Rod backing vocals. So, oh ho, that's quite an ego we got there, haven't we? Former members. Trotsky, Phil, backing vocals, bass. Tubman, Juliet, guitar. Gigs. Haunted House, Boughton, upcoming April 19th. Cancel. Get your butts ready for ready for the return of the targets in our new album. For the, for the premiere, we're headed back to the scene of the first crime, The Haunted House. Also featuring Tearing Down. Tickets $12. Doors at 8. Showtime at 9. Cancelled. A friend of mine claims to have heard that Hancock decided to quit the, ba quit the band. But no official statement has been given out. A whole hard thumbs down for that bullcrap. Gotta find me another fave band now. You better do the same. What? Now the whole thing got cancelled? What's going on? Such a shame that Tubman left again. Why? Good lord. Not those emos on the show again. Why do you do this to us? Why? Yeehaw! Finally! Really looking forward to this one. You gonna play Pipe Dreams? So friggin' cool. The Cell. Boughton. Passed. July 4th, 2016. We're, we're so criminally good, we're gonna get locked up in the cell. It's on and it's gonna be one hell of a show. Also featuring our new band member, Tubman. Wow, that's such a blaze. Really love your new guitar guitarist dress. We'll definitely come to the Freedom Plaza demo. Just I just have to get to know Juliet, especially since she's the one organizing this. Really nice show, but geez, can you get rid of tearing down, please? Blast Tense was so much better, in my opinion. You found yourselves a brilliant new guitarist there. Seems a bit shy, though, but sure doesn't have to. Rock on, targets. Shit, missed to buy tickets. Anyone willing to trade? Haunted House, Boughton, Pass, November 11th, 2015. Guess who's on stage, baby? The fine folks from Haunted House will have us at their place in November. Reading this, you are commanded to come. Hancock, I love you. So amazing. My new favorite band, greatest band in the nation, except for the proclamations and stuff you did in the show. That was really weird. Alright, so that... We've got the conflicting data point, but we'll come back to that. Wait, what the actual... The moment you opened that dock, malicious code injection was detected at Norwell. We've had 27 attack, or 47 attack warnings and still counting. What the heck is on this site? Oh, that's right. Albums. With more and more poverty in the streets, it's about time for the capitalists to finally recognize them as a viable target group. It's time for an advertisement for the poor, out now. Listen to Pipe Dreams right now. Man, that's something I can actually get into <laughs> in real life, so. Just double check and make sure. Them tracks. Exposed. Advertisement for the poor. Nosebleed. Sick. Overcome. How you live. Stripped to the core. Pipe dreams. Go home. You're drunk. Our album is now available on any damn good music store. 
the physical ones. Screw streaming. The targets, a riot. On the plate, rise, you're inside. A riot, wrong about us. Fight back, stone to the knee. Nation army. Sorry folks, this one's all sold out. Drop at one of our concerts and get one for free, or drop Hancock a line at the Media Punk at mailerate.tna. We have a contact method. Excellent. You will now have access to any emails coming in or out of this account. still have conflicting information. This one... There. Yeah, so... We'll have to see... Okay, listener. What do we got in listener? Ah, more from... from Juliet Carrington. Hello? Hi, Cass. What happened yesterday? Juliet, this is Joseph on Cassandra's account. Oh, sorry. Hi, Joseph. D didn't know you had access to Cassie's account. Nice to finally talk to you. You too, Juliet. Have you seen Cassandra since yesterday evening? Heard from her at all? Not too uncommon in a relationship, is it? I spoke to her last night via chat. She seemed quite upset about the whole Freedom Plaza thing and something else she wouldn't talk about. Then there was someone at the, her door, so she went to answer it and never came back. I assumed it was you. We were supposed to meet for dinner, but I had an unexpected meeting with the client. She wasn't exactly happy about the change of plans. She quit the chat, and that was it. I haven't heard from her since. In that case, I think she's probably at home stewing away. Well, I just tried that. She did give me the key to her flat two months ago, but no Cassie. Also, her PC was still on. Hmm, I guess calling her didn't work either. I tried. No answer. Darn, I hate myself right now. Did you set your number to private? Otherwise, she'd pro she's probably just avoiding you. Private is my default setting. After all, I am a lawyer. Haha, <laughs> Cass told me you were funny. I think you shouldn't worry too much. It's probably nothing. Cassie's mad. She usually goes for wanders around the city. She'll be back in no time. Yeah, but she does get fi a bit fiery at times. We had an argument once, and well, guess what happened? See, this is why I wanted to talk to you. I feel like sometimes you know her better than I do, and I'm her goddamn boyfriend. Oh, I doubt that somehow. I mean, you two were in the thought group together, right? You both went to the Freedom Plaza to get the protest. And so I thought maybe you'd know other places that could be important to, for her or the two of you. Where she could be at. Joseph, I'm sorry. Freedom Plaza was organized by thought. Yeah, but Harrison did all the planning for it. I don't know much else. Oh, I see. I wish I could help, but honestly, I don't have a clue. Well, thank you anyway, Juliet. Don't mention it. I'll text you when she turns up. Or if I get an idea. So there's one of our conflicting data chunks. Interesting. Messenger, message from the founder. When I founded Rosentech in 1998, my vision was a simple one. There should be tailor-made software for any purpose. Who would want? Who would have thought that a guy hailing from merely from merely an attic in his parents' home could create the single most important software company in the nation? Certainly not me. Who would have thought that the government would take interest in the company and become its greatest stakeholder? Certainly not me. Again. Against my wildest expectations, but due to my sheer stubbornness, a lot of persistence, and a little bit of luck, Rosentech today employs that 
that 5,106 workers and 224 successfully completed projects. And these figures keep increasing so fast that I added a live counter script to this page to keep it up to date. So what's the essence for my experience? Although I never expected it, my vision proved to be a very strong one. Now let's see what is in yours. Your sincerity. Yours sincerely, Victor Rosen. The Ten Commandments. We at Rosen Tech believe the outst that outstanding quality and performance walk hand in hand with clearly defined rules. Thus, we have phrased Ten Commandments that guide us in our work everyday work, every work day. Any vision is valuable. Have you ever thought that the future could be like this or that, like that? How a certain problem could or should be solved? Of course you have. Do not let these ideas go to waste. They are pure gold. Pursue them. Software can solve any problem. Yes, it can. We live in a time where information is everything. We can re reduce massively complex facts to piece pieces of bits and bytes. We then get carefully designed algorithms to work and marvel at the results produced. As our problems are suddenly undone. Embrace the client's vision. We think that our valued clients know best what's at the core of their demands and needs. Hence, it should be their vision, your grand design, that guides your efforts. Open-mindedness and transparency are key. Closely connected to rule number three, the importance to stay open-minded cannot be overstated. Just as the importance of transparency in all the processes. Do not neglect or reject. Do not obfuscate. It is as simple as that. Always stay in clutch with a client. Whoever said ignorance is strength certainly wasn't right. There is no strength in not knowing what the client wants. So go ahead and ask even if it's one or two times more often than necessary. Synchronous over asynchronous communication. Do not waste the clients or your own time by bothering with asynchronous communication like email. It's almost always more efficient and personal to get directly in touch with one another and it opens up the opportunity for immediate feedback or discussion. This is why we actually have no email addresses. 7. Think about your responsibility. Our work does not our work does not only matter to our clients and ourselves, it may also change the entire entirely world. Literally. That's not spelled correct. You should be aware of this. That much power should not be taken lightly. Fix your mistakes, learn from them. There is something healthy about mistakes, like a catharsis. They will wash out your flaws one by one, provided that we notice and revert them. This is why we always let each piece of code be reviewed by our specialized review task force. 9. Work here and now. People tend to discuss what could be and could have been. While it is important to remember the past and even more important to have visions of the future, the present is the time that really matters because this is where all the work must be done. 10. You can do better. No matter what you can do, you can, even, you can get even better at it. You continuously learn and improve yourself. Never stop working. Strive for perfection. Get in touch. Following the sixth commandment of Rose and Tech, we have we rely heavily on communication and collaboration with you. We would like you to call us directly so we can e easily discuss your needs. Our vision shaping team is ready anytime to form a software that fills your needs. Please call. We got Remy French, head of vision shaping. Or are you from the press? Our PR team will gladly answer all of your questions. Please talk to Maria Harper, head of PR. Or her friendly substitute, Juliet Carrington, PR assistant. work. The listener will also check incoming and outgoing telephone calls and numbers you have added. Esther Carrington. Welcome to Rosentech. This is PR assistant Juliet Carrington speaking. How may I be of sir? Hello, Juliet Carrington. This is Esther. You sound so official at work. Oh, uh, hi, Mom. Is this important? You know I can't take personal calls while I'm at work. I just wanted to check in, make sure you are home for dinner tonight. Actually, I'm heading out with some friends from work. Time for some bond ch clubbing. On, honey, please don't. On the news, they said it would be advisable to avoid public places. They expect another bombing. Mom, I, I get that you're worried, but I can't just sit at home with you every night of the week. That's exactly what those terrorists want us to do. Avoid public life. We can't give up our freedom like that. Honey, please. You won't have much freedom left if you're dead. Mom, I won't die. How can you be so sure about that? I could just as easily be hit by a car on my way home to your lovely dinner. Don't say that. Just think. This ridiculous group has gotten you into nothing but trouble. What were they called? All right, jeesh, Mom. I'm going to think about it, okay? Thank you, honey. 
Mom, I am sorry, but I really have to go now if, it does, if I don't want Victor Rosen to personally fire me. I have to go. Sorry, love you. Bye. to stay at home though. This is with her parents. Now to find her parents' address. It's Friday, Miss Carrington has plans to go out tonight in Bond. That's inf that information would normally be innocuous, but we know that she act actively dislikes going out. People are truly creatures of habit. Maybe she really does want to go out, but this seems a little odd. What is she really doing? Harrison O'Donnell. Order confirmation invoice. Hello, Mr. O'Donnell. Thank you for shopping at Semiramis Flowers. We hereby confirm your order of the following products. Okay, lovely with tag to Angela. Angela. Is there an... Okay, Angela is not a name we've heard before. The total has already been subtracted from your bank account. The delivery is ready to be picked up at the, from the Simmeramis Flower Store bought in the city this afternoon. Have a very nice and florid day. And an update to the Carrington family website. Ah, because we're trying to figure out where she lives. Huh, funny. This is right around the corner from where I live. Alright, let's look into Harrison's savings account. Welcome to FDBN Online, Mr. O'Donnell. Your last login, April 10th. insurance policies. A guy his age planning on doing something dangerous, perhaps. Either he values his hygiene, or it might well be material intended to wash away at Freedom Memorial. Received a large payment from TNB. Payment from the National Beholder. Sounds like some sort of secret affiliation. Keep looking for more info. <coughs> Pardon me. Security warning. Unrecognized access. Mr. O'Donnell, your FB FD FBTN online banking was just used from an unrecognized device. Unrecognized operating system. Unrecognized browser. Unrecognized location. Don't recognize this activity? Review your recently used devices in your FBTN online banking account now. We're sending you this because we take security very seriously and want to keep you updated on important actions in your bank account. We were unable to determine whether you have used this browser device with your online banking account before. This may occur when you sign in for the first time on a new computer, phone, or browser. When you use your browser's incognito or private browsing mode, or remove your cookies, or in case somebody else is accessing your account. That wouldn't be us. No, not at all. Make sure there's not 
anything else I can click on. Alright. So, last little bit. right. I was hoping for... She says Harrison did it. I'm more inclined to believe that Harrison was the one who did it. Who, who uh, organized it. He planned this protest that went completely awry? Doesn't sound like a very good planning to me. Or maybe it didn't go awry at all. Maybe it went down exactly as he had in mind. So that Freedom Plaza demonstration was one of Thought's protests. Not immensely surprising. One down, two more protest locations to go. Harrison O'Donnell calling her. Calling her. You got O'Donnell. Harrison, it's me. Well, well, well. Look who it is. I knew this moment would come one day, but you've caught me by surprise. Harrison. Shh, Juliet. Ever since we first made out in that clear night on the Stelligan Greenfield, I knew it was destiny. I know you never really meant to. Will you please spare me your juvenile BS? Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't believe it at first, but, I, but it really is you. To what do I owe the pleasure of your beautiful voice? You miss me, right? So this is why you did it? To make me call you back again? The heck are you talking about? Oh, come on. Don't play dumb, great administrator. I'm talking about the thought page you so generously volunteered to maintain. What? Give me a sec. What the? The F is this S? You messing around with me, Jules? Are you seriously trying to say this wasn't your doing? Why would I effing want to disgrace thought? Maybe because of the same reason you bailed out of Thought all of a sudden? Thought didn't do S anymore since Abe disappeared, but turning around that way made a damn fine excuse for you to bail out on the two of us, huh? Maybe then you, maybe then because you disgraced Thought before hiding all the articles on the th Thought blog except Cassandra's? Abe archived, archived the first ones because he didn't want us to know. None of us could ever access them. I merely did the same with the rest because that would also be in Abe's interest. And Cass wanted to show her article around. Oh, please. I know you deleted all your rebellious posts to secure your cozy job writing that ridiculous opinion column for TMB. You know, it's funny you dare speaking of disgrace when Rosen is the government's, government's personal bitch because you, you didn't know. Almost makes you the same in my book. So you really don't know anything about the hack, then? I don't have a freaking clue. Can you revert the changes? You bet. I'll even hunt down the son of a bee. Who just revert it, okay? I don't care who did it. I just can't stand our memories being toyed around with. Okay, okay. We'll be done in no time, ma'am. Never could say no to you. If only. Anyway, thank you. There's a lot of little data points here. Uh, okay. 
Miss Delegan again. This university seems to play a major role for members of thought. No longer a member of thought. Oh, is that so? We still need to keep observing him, though. Seems that today's new targets have a common history, something more than belonging to thought. Disappeared, causing thought to become inactive. Abraham Goldfels disappeared, causing the group to be inactive? They're no longer active? Well, it seems to me like someone still is. First the timeline, now the thought block. You have a lot to hide, Mr. O'Donnell. Okay, well, we'll drag this over to Abe. This gets more confusing by the minute. Why do you hide something on the group's blog from its own members? A hidden agenda, perhaps? Hey, I read, read, I read this one quite regularly. I wasn't at all aware it was our guy. The TMB probably didn't even know either. Also, this must be what the large payment he received was for. Alright, sh shut the Pargesian border. So, the national opinion, shut the Ar Argesian border by Harrison O'Donnell. This time in the National Opinion column, Harrison O'Donnell argues why the border to the Pargus needs to be closed. I'll go and spill the beans right away. Shut the border. Between us and the Pargus, now. Will you please? Can anyone see what's happening there? I mean, are you blind? Take a look at Triflith. For instance, the situation there seems to be escalating yet again. 2008 much? And just like then, the nation will let itself get dragged into the conflict. Just like then, the Pargesians will see the nation not as a friend who does the best to de-escalate the situation, but as an opponent who invades and seeks cooperation through force. History keeps repeating itself. That's certainly nothing new. Safety of any citizen is of utmost importance. That has been the party's promise ever since 2009, and ever since it has been working like a charm. Until now, that is. As some self-proclaimed benefactors in the opposition claim that borders are meant to be open for two possible refugees. If I didn't know how we how we suffered already nine years back, I would agree without a doubt. I would walk out there and welcome them personally with arms wide open. But I do remember perfectly well. Though my name isn't Nostradamus, let me foretell something. We will see a rise in acts of terrorism in the very close future. Who knows, maybe next week a bomb will go off in the middle of Fairview or Bonn? Don't you pretend not to have been warned when that happens? That's suspicious. Yes, I read that article. That was strange indeed, and with the bombings now. So we don't know what that connects to. So he still hasn't recovered it.
so we need to find out where the two remaining protests of thought took place. So we need to get into here. Ah, that's another one. I see you. Knock, knock, Harrison. Seems I cut you pants down on that little page of yours. Confused? Why, that's fine. You don't know me, and I like to keep it that way. But I know a lot about you, media punk. If you knew what I know, what you know about what this little group of yours did, you would find it just as hard to ignore that those bombs might just carry your name tag. Get what I'm talking about, right? So the righteous hacker initiate will expose all information I got on you. Might interest the cops, won't it? I have no love for the gov, but I will do what I must, so give me one good reason not to do it, and I might reconsider. Oh great, now there's a hacker involved in all of this, because the situation wasn't bad enough as it is. I wonder what this is about. Seems like we're not the only ones interested in Mr. O'Donnell and his entanglements in all this. I wonder if this guy has any proof for what he claims. I R.E., I see you. Hey, wise-ass. This is the most pathetic blackmailing attempt I've read in a long time. You want a damn good reason not to call the cops? I can give you three. One, you hacked my site, i.e. my web server. Last time I checked, that was highly illegal. Something about glass houses and stones. Two, I don't get what you want to have found out about me. True, our protest didn't go as planned, but since you claim to know so much about me, you should know that that was hardly my fault. What I wanted, what I wanted is on my blog. Not a word about freaking bombing people. Only grabbing attention. Bet you never even found that, huh? Warrior of mad skills, hacker boy. I'll throw you a breadcrumb so you don't feel too miserable. My neck. I'm the wrong person to mess around with. Leave my page alone. Roll it back and then don't dare touching it again. I will get you. Promise. Something new in Juliet's timeline. When I learned about Stelgan this morning and that two people had been killed, I felt devastated because I felt responsible. I spent five years of my life at this university. I even organized a peaceful protest at the Stelgan campus. It has been the center of my life for a while, and, I, and to see terrorists pervert this place for their foul reasons strikes my heart. I feel truly, truly sorry for anyone concerned. Okay, so we have the wall of text. Hell yes, it is happening. After years, my plan is finally taking shape, even as a name, thought, finally a counterpoint, counterpart to the radical reigning of, of totalitarianism's surveillance. And I am glad to have a capable companion in this, one who came up with the best idea for a demo ever. I'm not going to tell you, it's a surprise. I can only urge you to join us in our aim to unleash this pitiful, pathetic, wannabe democracy of a country from its shackles. For freedom is not free in a, pl in a place where every move is observed and analyzed. Help us make freedom free again. Run around naked, eat chocolate pudding from a diaper, insult your mom on timelines. It's mind-boggling now how anything, no matter how mundane, will generate attention these days. As long as it's not normal, a construct of society that doesn't make sense by the by the way, and there's a camera around, you can be sure we will hear about it. The ever-present cameras are one reason this site exists, at any rate. Everyone loves the sound of click tsunamis in the morning. Already got a nice plan on my own. As soon as I get myself a handful of like-minded people, we're going to occupy that friggin' elitist university, Stelgan, that's for sure. I bet we could scare those cardigan-wearing conformists a great deal just by showing our ugly faces. Oh, hi, I'd love to see them running. I've grown really fond of the, the, the idea to start a band. Maybe we'll call them Enemy of the State or the Most Wanted. So music is an excellent way to add the spice of emotion needed in order to make important messages stick in your mind. And hell, I'm ready to be a rock star. I already live in a trailer anyway, so I might as well go to the, the full gutter punk life. So what do you like more, Enemy of the State or Most Wanted? Oh, come on, can you please get more stereotypically antisocial? Or maybe something else. Anyone willing to join? After all, I can't do it myself. I mean, I could, but solo rock stars are even lamer than Dimefront. Is there any hope left for this country? It lays with its people. It is resembled by every freely thinking mind, every individual of this 
effed up place that is willing to switch on their brain. Safety is a lie, nothing but a buzzword used to cause fear and take control from you. If you don't get that, you might as well turn into a remote-controlled zombie and say bye-bye to free will. Thing is, people love staying blind as long as they have the illusion of safety. So what I need now is a way of getting the, this truth in everyone's head. No, 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 effing no. The perfect safety of the individual is our ultimate goal. We have stated so before our election in 2009, we will stay true to our promise. To be able to provide this, we will again greatly increase surveillance measures in the months and years to come. There is already a new concept in the works at this moment that continues to stretch our current technology, pushing our safety initiatives to on an entirely new level. These words came from the glorious majesty herself, Miss Catherine Delacroix, Lady Security, this very morning. I cannot even find the words for how mind-boggling stupid this government's plan is. Let's turn on our brains for a second and think. What do people value most these days? Freedom, of course. The freedom to say stupid things on the internet. The freedom to choose between a trillion cell phone brands. The freedom to walk around with the most ugly haircut ever sculpted. If safety is what everyone is longing for so much, go lock yourself into a barn because taking risks is part of living your life, you idiots. I'm telling you, the next step that the government will take will be to stop citizens from doing things before the thought has even popped up in their heads. Minority report anyone? Thus, there will be no freedom to choose, no freedom whatsoever. This is a dangerous pitfall, seriously. Okay, so we got some... Definite con conflicts. The message. The alias man. The government is scanning all the websites for potential threats. They make people disappear and spread rebellious ideas. It's vital that people like you show the courage and write about this truth. A heartfelt thank you. I know they're effed up, but you, man, should be put, should put on your tinfoil hat. I really like what you're doing here. I can relate to you being fed up with the gov so much. We must act now. Want to meet sometime, Hancock? On some occasions, I deeply question the purpose of this message page. Page. This is one of them. Dear Hancock, by pure coincidence, I stumbled upon your website. Frankly, your thinking, your attitude to get other people to think alike left quite an impression on me. I am looking for people willing to join a debate club called The Thought, and I think your presence could really live, liven up the discussion. So originally, The Thought was going to be a debate club. I feel a little confused now. Is this thought a blog, an activist group, or a debate club? Perhaps all three? Dear Goldfells, I don't know, don't know where you got this weird impression that I would be willing to join some debate club. I'm already debating here all day, on my own. This country needs change, freaking action. If you have this to offer, th that as well. Drop me in a, a PN here. Don't spam. Take, thanks a ton. Mariah, I like the idea that you want to start a band. What about the name of the targets? The targets? Sounds kind of lame to me, Mariah. But thanks anyways, I might consider that. Your articles will, articles will suck, lol. You should go and write poetry instead. While he was staring at the flashing monitor in the, in the dark, all alone in the room he was that he was allowed to inhabit by his parents' mercy, and only dressed in his dotted shorts that his mum had dis disposed this morning, he finished the words, your articles suck, with a strike of the enter key, and in that moment he was content, for he had never written anything more intelligent or relevant in his entire life. By the way, your grammar sucks. Topic, debate club invitation. Goldfells, dear readers, I would kindly like to invite those who are interested to our newly founded debate club called The Thought. Our primary discussion will revolve around how people can best be made aware of a topic in the age of informal information overflow. First, we will brainstorm and discuss various options, then dependent on participation and interest of attendees, we'll perform practical exercises and test sessions for empirical research. The Thought meetings are scheduled to take place every Thursday night at 7 p.m. sharp. Meetings will take place at Cyber Cafe Chestnut Complex D on Stelligan Campus. No registration is needed. Just come by. You can also visit our blog online. We're looking forward to meeting you and to discuss a topic that is pertinent in our current day lives. Debate club? Ain't nobody got time for that. Gotta love the memes. Hmm. If I find the time after work, I might come, ar come around. I'm a general law student in my ninth semester. Can I claim any credit points for participating? A minor update. We will have a wonderful guest join our meetings. Hancock has been theorizing ways of political engagement in his independent blog, Hancock's Writing on the Wall, for several years now, and is sure to enrich our debate sessions. Debbie R. Sadly, this is not an officially accredited event. I am sorry. Concerned one. I am not a student, only here for self-improvement, but the topic really piqued my interest. Am I able to join? My name is Nina, by the way. Concerned one. Let's be honest with one another, shall we? The first few sessions were not exactly full, aka empty. So yeah, last thing Abe and me are going to do is give up hope. 
So we would be glad if you drop by next Thursday. If it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who you are. We don't care whether or not you're a Stelligan. I'm not just a guy with ideas who maybe is lucky enough to realize some of them. So Nina, you're you, you'll be very welcome at, at the at thought. Abe, thanks a ton for the warm welcome. Nina, so there's another member we haven't even heard of yet. I'll request clearance to make her a target. We got a green light. Okay, vlog's still not available. Ah, we need to get... What a strange alias name. Excuse me. Okay, Harrison, outskirts camping LTD, bought in one camping lot, Wi Fi monthly, so we know where he lives now. Outskirts camping, that's one ugly place, but I guess it's cheap. So we've got, we still got the, she said she organized a peaceful, peaceful process, but Hancock said he wanted to do it. Okay, so, oh yeah, so that was the other. Okay, so he's anti-government, very clearly. Anything else would have come as a surprise. Honestly, it looks more like he was planning it. Freedom Plaza and Stelligan. Very well. It is a pattern, exactly as we suspected. We still have no idea about the third location. You need to be diligent now. Lies might hang in the balance. In the worst case, that we cannot determine the location on time. Well, I might have to conduct an interrogation with Mr. Water Miss Watergate. I want to avoid it, though. She's behaving pretty defiantly, that I've, I've been told. Looking at what you've found so far, I think I might have enough information to put some pressure on her. It's back. Okay. R-E-R-E-I-C-U. Knock, knock, Harrison. The thoughts are free once again. We are not done yet, you and me. But first on, on I might turn to another. That's right, Concerned One talked to us one. Okay, so. Concerned One, please reconsider. Guy hurt there was only a GD cop. They had it coming for, for long. It was messy, I know, all the way back to the thing I messed up organizing. But hell, look at the bright side. We made the news. This is what we wanted, what you wanted. That this goes both ways. Interesting. 
what did she do for thought that she might have messed up? Published by Hancock. Let's actually get to his. Okay. Yeah, he definitely is anti government. The government is only of ass kissing mother effing turds. Ah, the beauty that is freedom of speech. Isn't it great that in this country I can say whatever I please and no one can hold it against me? It's just my opinion. You might disagree. You shouldn't because I'm right at that. But yeah, you may. And you might as well judge me to be an a-hole. But that, and that is fine too. It isn't. As long as it will not have legal consequences for me. I think it is a great measurement of the amount of freedom in our country that as long as I'm able to write this and there isn't any governmental lackey t taking that statement and reporting it to some superior weird truly free. George Orwell said, if liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. True that. With the current course towards more and more surveillance, our state of the nation's slow metamorphosis, it is inevitable that things that this will change one day, and it's damn well possible that day isn't too far off at all. There may be a counterweight to this process, and the answer can only be that the thought no longer stays in our head. No, we will carry it into the streets of the nation, become transformed, and by that, re-implanted back into the minds. An invincible idea that we shall always be truly free. So an activist group after all. And now we know who had the primary say in that. Concerned one, this is a great moment. I'm glad we finally get, get to action. Any plans where we'll strike first? Who do you think I am, huh? Of course I do. We'll hold a nice little proclamation where we were born. Let's piss off the so-called young elite. No offense, Abe. My friend, so I share your enthusiasm toward acquiring people's attention. It would be better to avoid Stelligan as a place of any demonstration for the moment. Because of the increased student fees, the atmosphere is heated up enough as it is. We might be able to get back to Stelligan later on. Ah, what a pity. But you are pr probably right, Abe. So what about holding a proclamation on the a government building then? Sounds like a worthy first demo. Unroll the banners from the roof, that kind of thing. I think we need to strike into the heart of everyday people to really cause a stir. We should go for storming a Boughton Mall as our first thing. Maybe even wait until it's all busy, say around Christmas. Although I know we want another want to gather more people to join us, we should not discuss the matter here. There are eyes out there who might be malevolent toward us. Well, considering Freedom Plaza, it would probably be that. She was the one who botched it. It's got to be Nina's. This Nina planned it? Are you sure? A mall? Well, that must be it then. That's where the third bomb will be. But there are dozens of malls in Boughton. Which one is it? All right, if this, that is all we have, it's what we have to work with. Let's get this interrogation thing going before we run out, run, out of, run out of time. I'm actually located in the same facility where Miss Watergate is being detained. I will have her move to an interrogation room and walk across. To cover my identity, I will connect to her via an internal hard line. Let's just hope that what you have provided us gives us enough, enough leverage over her. I will open a connection to you to eavesdrop. After all, this is your case too. Plus, we need all the possible info, info found in Orwell. Hold on. Who is this? Why can't you just leave me alone? Miss Watergate, my name is Symes. Great, Symes, you can go F yourself. I already told the other guys everything over and over again. It wasn't me who hurt the office. We have new evidence that states otherwise, which is why you are in custody. Again. But that is not what this is about. We are investigating the bombings at Freedom Plaza and Stelligan. 
I just want to ask you some questions. Cooperate and it might reflect positively on you. Oh, you want to frame me for this as well. I must be such a busy terrorist. I was right here in prison while I set up a goddamn bomb at Stelligan. We know you didn't trigger the bomb at Stelligan. Maybe not even the one at Freedom Plaza. We do know, however, that you have been in close contact with a group called Thought. What? They have nothing to do with it. I want to talk to my lawyer. Right now. You mean that boyfriend of yours, Joseph Langley? My boyfriend? You know that? We know a lot about you, Miss Watergate. Bah, I don't need to call him, then. Now shove off. Your defiance towards me is not advisable. What about your parents, Bruno and Alice? They've got a nice company, don't they? Association with a criminal case against their daughter, yet again, could hurt them badly. Last time I was in custody, all they ever did about it was suggesting I leave my position as junior COO. Does that give you the impression of a picture-perfect family? Well, have it your way, then. We have your confession in regards to that nasty incident with the police officer. You'll have to go through that whole process again. It's going to drag on for a long time. And where did you get this supposed confession? I never did anything. Miss Carrington stated this in a conversation with you. Have you been spying on us, you dirty little government effer? Well, I hope you also noticed that she stated this happened in defense. Indeed, we did note that. That doesn't, that does mean you have nothing on me. It seems my colleagues didn't tell you you have been assessed as potentially dangerous, did they? Ha, potentially dangerous. I like the sound of that. Uh, me so danger. This is not a joke, Miss Watergate. See, it's all in this profile here. In accordance with the safety bill, people being assessed as potentially dangerous may be held in custody for a very, very long time, until they are deemed no longer a threat. B.S. You can't just make up something and flag me as dangerous just because it suits your case. It's an official investigative result. We can even double the time span you sit in here with a police record like yours. No, why, I hope you will like your cell and your cellmates, but cooperate and avoid this at once. Why are you doing this to me? Just answer my questions, and I might be able to help. I, I don't know what you expect from me. I first went to the Freedom Plaza demo. I don't know much about their plans. We know a person going by the name of Nina had plans to storm a mall. Do you know which one? Mall? A mall? Yeah, a mall was mentioned once or twice. I think it was that huge place, the Circle Mall. The Circle Mall? Are you completely sure? Yes, yes, I do think so. All right, this will have to suffice. Wait, what about this reflecting positively on me, huh? Your cooperation was noted. All will be dealt with in due time. Goodbye. Phew, I guess that went good. Thank God you provided valuable info. Unfortunately for Miss Watergate, I cannot do much for her. It just doesn't work like this. What's in Orwell is in Orwell, and acting upon it is mandatory. I know what you must think now, but would you rather not save these people? We did the right thing, you and me. Look, looks like the biggest mall in all of Bonn, the Circle Mall, is our target. All hell will surely break loose once the report goes out, but I don't think we have a choice. Add the data chunk to Cassandra's profile, and I'll inform the cavalry so they can do their job. Okay, it's done. Evacuation is in progress. Better keep our fingers crossed that we're right and that we're not too late already. Now all we can do is wait. Esther Carrington. Welcome to Rosentech. This is PR. Hello, honey. It's me again. Mom? I just heard breaking news on the radio. They are evacuating the Circle Mall. They also told everyone to avoid the places around the mall. You best head home at once. Evacuating? Ugh, Mom, I can't just leave work. You're overdue already. Oh well, yeah, fine. I'll get home soon, okay? Thank you, honey. See you soon. Be careful. Yeah, see you soon, Mom. But I really think you did fine. I shall... I missed... A homemade explosive device has been found by local police units on the scene at the Circle Mall. We did it. We saved all those people. Your diligence was brilliant. 
Next up, we will pull this Nina apart and find out who is really responsible for all this mess. Really great work. Get some rest. You deserve it. Breaking news. Explosive device found at the Circle Mall. An explosive device has been found and disarmed at the Circle Mall in Vaughton. I'm about to sneeze, but my apologies. Excuse me. Anyways, after a sudden evacuation and thorough search, a device has been identified as a homemade bomb has been found by police forces at the Circle Mall. These usually come in threes, so we'll see. The device has been disarmed by specialists on site. Although authorities refuse to comment at this time, it is suspected this might have been the bombing announced earlier by the letter found at the previous bomb site. We will continue our report as the situation develops. For the moment, it is strongly advised to keep clear of the area around the Circle Mall. And it looks like that ends day two. Based on the data you submitted, we have learned the following. Global. Assault at Stellion University. Another bombing at Stellion University. An identical letter has reached authorities. The two bombings must be connected. Thought held three protests. The Thought group has held three dem demonstrations, the location of which seem to match the bombing locations. Thought is inactive. The Thought group is inactive. The bombings may be the deeds of a single individual. The Circle Mall bombing prevented. Due to your efforts, a bombing at the Circle Mall was prevented. Harrison O'Donnell. He was a guest student at Abraham's Goldfell's course. He has two health insurance plans. He shops very frequently in his drugstore. He left the Thought Group. He writes for the National Beholder. We know his address. He rejects the governmental position. He appears to have been an important member of Thought, and he might have tried to hide his past to secure his current job at TNB. Abraham Goldfell's. He immigrated into the nation in 1993. He seems to have founded a blog called The Thought, associated with the group Thought. He was a media ethics professor at Seligan University who quit in 2016. He has disappeared, causing in inactivity of Thought. He recruited members for a debate club. Juliet Carrington. She is a former student of Abraham Goldfell's. She works at Rosentech as a PR assistant. We most probably caught her lying about going out tonight. We know her address. Nina. She got recruited for Thought by Harrison O'Donnell. She has an aversion to law enforcement, and she was in a protest in the mall, or the protest at the mall was based on her planning. So with that, we're going to go ahead and end another episode. As always, if you like what I'm doing here, please go ahead and do me a favor and help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Make sure that you like or dislike the video, click the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and leave me a comment or some constructive criticism in the comment section down below. Also, if you do find that notifications aren't coming to you through YouTube, I do send notices about all my video uploads via my Twitter, at BiscuitEaterYT. As always, I do appreciate you coming along on this journey with me. I hope that this has been as much fun for you as it is for me. But, until we meet again, game on lovelies.